This is the Marvel Legends series, Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel. And the figure is part of the Captain Marvel movie, Cree Sentry, Build-A-Figure Wave. And this is the only figure in the wave that does not contain a Build-A-Figure piece to build the Cree Sentry. And here's the rest of the assortment. Interestingly enough, they didn't put the actual photos of the figure. They put the Photoshop uh, artwork that's on the back of the packaging. Interesting. Okay, uh, quick look at the packaging. Interesting change in Hasbro's packaging. If you notice, the window is no longer attached to the card of the box, casing on it. And I was like, did I just get a broken, defective box? And I realized that Hasbro has built this new clamshell tray that includes a cover. And the cover serves as the window. This is great for uh, collectors who live uh, in tropical countries like the Philippines, like where I live. Uh, because if you keep your figures uh, in boxes, mint in box or back in boxes, put them back, over time, the humidity, the temperature uh, fluctuations can put a strain on the adhesive and just the, it just wears away the adhesive and the plastic just goes out and i think it's a lot better this is i think this is a smart move on hasbro they they cut cost on adhesives and uh i think it's a better presentation and easier to pack and all that so very very nice okay so let's put that away while we're at it let's check out the figure i haven't taken out the figure of the box it's the first time i'm doing so so, if there are any defects, we're going to find out together. So, I picked up this figure at Hobby Corner. Um, one of the few hobby shops that were selling the Wave that were not in sets. If you wanted to pick up the figures individually, you'd have to wait for it on retail, which is taking forever because of port congestion here in Manila. Port congestion is just, just tons of shipments. Uh, coming into the Philippines through Manila and the port is just way too small to accommodate all the shipment and you've got one and a half to two months delay in shipments that's why we've been getting Hasbro products late lately uh, and um, I had to resort to hobby shops who get a small amount of stocks uh, overseas and they, they have it immediately because they ship it via air air freight so um, so here, here is the figure. Uh, he comes with ex an extra pair of hands. I guess these are the open, the open hands when she's flying, or yeah. I thought it's pretty cool. A well painted flesh tone and that metallic red finish. I thought that was pretty cool. She comes with a unmasked head sculpt, a headpiece. This was actually pretty good. Uh, I've seen some. I saw a couple uh, of these, and it, it's well painted. But you have to look at the eyes more closely because some of the eyes have just smeared uh, paint apps on the iris and pupil. This one was pretty decent. Um, it could it could use some quality control uh, on the paint, but I I do love this new computer aided face painting technology that Hasbro has been using and it does have that very good likeness to Brie Larson so okay but the the eyes you just have to watch out for that there are some figures that have some smudges okay now on to the figure itself looking absolutely fantastic but paint app sadly is horrible 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 paint apps um, I've seen figures that have overlapping flesh and red paint apps on the helmet uh, some chips on the chin, um, the eyes, uh, the white paint on the eyes. Some of the figures I saw were misaligned. So just be wary of that. But I love the design. I love the metallic finish on it. it it's just that I wish they could have done better job on quality control uh, with the figure. Same goes for the torso and the rest of the body. Uh, and, and primarily, it's, the, it's her chest that needs... Um, some attention to quality control and as you can see look at that a lot of scratching the gold paint on her star is uneven there's some blue here and there i actually found a figure that had a perfect torso perfectly painted torso but tons of chipping on the head so you, you can't win <laughs> hasbro needs to step up 
and address the quality issues on their paint apps, especially with figures with gold, with flesh, with white. Um, the rest of the figure looks okay. Uh, the limbs, the gold, red, they've done a good job so far. It's just those, those little quality issues that can be annoying for collectors uh, because like the star, come on, that has to be the best painted area and the head sculpt. So just be wary of that. Onto articulation, the figure has a ball jointed neck that is on a hinge. You can swap out the head with the Brie Larson unmasked head sculpt. That's tight. Okay, very cool. It does, it looks a little bit big on camera, but it, it, it's actually pretty good. The proportions are actually pretty good. I don't know why it's coming out as too big on camera, but yeah. Okay. Uh, shoulders go in and out, forward and backward as a ball hinge. Slightly hindered by that shoulder pad. Ball hinge elbow. Ball hinge wrists go in and out. Swivel. This one goes in and out as well. Ball jointed upper torso. Ball jointed hips. Go that way and that way. Thigh swivel. Double hinge knees. Ball hinge ankles with the rocker pivot. So all in all, a very, very well sculpted, good looking figure. I, I like it. I actually like it, except for those small chips of paint here and there. This is, an, this is a stellar, stellar figure. I mean, a lot of people have been dissing on this wave, thinking that it's not worth picking up on retail. Just go wait for it on clearance. But uh, I, I think it's great. And I wasn't really interested in the build a figure uh, that came in this wave. So I just picked her up. She does not come with a BAF. So, yep, I'm pretty happy with it. I don't have an extra piece to deal with. So all in all, the figure is going to get a 9 out of 10 for me. I wish they could have improved on quality control on the paint apps. I think it's a great figure. If you're a big fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, this upcoming uh, new member of the Marvel Cinematic Universe uh, in the Marvel Legends format is definitely a worthy pickup. Uh, highly recommend it. So there you go, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this little video review. This has been the Marvel Legends series from the new movie, Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel. Thanks for watching.